for the first time. Smack him with a rock, that's how you kill the ghost. Hey guys, it's Adam aka Swimming Bird, and welcome back to Hyrule Warriors. Last time we defeated the Princess of Twilight, unlocking her and her awesome little wolf companion, but we're going back into adventure mode today. I really want to get the secret character that's right here, but we actually need an item to be able to unlock that character, and it's right here. It's this little croissant, the power bracelet, so we gotta go up before we can go back down. We got a link mission here. Ooh, all attacks are devastating. That's scary. Looks like there's a bunch of moblins to fight. Ooh, we can be anybody. I thought it was Link. I'm gonna try out Link actually because I want to use his gauntlets. These are awesome. They're huge silver gauntlets with a giant ball and chain from Twilight Princess. And uh, I practiced it a little bit to get what some of the combos going, but it's really cool. I want to, uh, <laughs> to wreck some fools with this ball and chain. We also have Midna now, as I mentioned, we just unlocked her, so I might try her out if we get a chance in another one of these missions. She seems cool. The only problem with trying new characters is that their weapons, we haven't unlocked different versions of them, so they are not as powerful. So here we go, I'm Link running around with this giant ball and chain. Because I have the silver gauntlets on, it means Link is a lot stronger, so he can just run with this thing. If you remember in Twilight Princess, he had this ball and chain, but he couldn't do as much damage because, uh, or he couldn't actually move around as much because it was so heavy, he would like kind of carry it really slowly. You gotta be careful, these guys are acting pretty, duh, yeah, they are devastating. Oh my gosh, I almost died from one spear. Is there health anywhere? Oh no, oh no, this is scary, this is scary. I'm gonna try to drink my potion here if I can. That's not gonna heal me that much. So if I get hit one more time by a moblin, I'm just dead. Any hearts in here? Yep, there are. I really need to get my life back. He threw a spear at me. That's why we could defeat them so easy, because the mission's all about not getting hit at all. And if you get hit any, you are dead. This is really scary. I need a couple more hearts, but I don't see any anywhere. Okay, let's, oh, there's a heart jar. Let's grab it real quick. I wanna try to use some combos on these fools, but I should actually be using my uh, my crazy thing here. There we go, okay, lock on, and then just do this, because I don't wanna risk him throwing his spear. Yeah, I was wondering why they were so easy to defeat. These are like uh, normal Zelda enemies in terms of how much damage they do. If I get hit by one of these little guys, I wonder if it's going to do a ton as well. So the combos for this are pretty crazy. He can do this, uh, the thing where he grabs one of the pillars from Ocarina of Time with the silver gauntlets, picks it up, swings it around, and slams it. It's really good for clearing out enemies. The uh, the other thing that I saw with him is that uh, the he will actually like dig underground, so he kind of uses the gauntlets as like silver mitts a little bit. Okay, be very careful. These guys, there we go. Only five enemies remain. You gotta be extra careful, because there's another one. Yes, I just accidentally picked that guy up. Uh, more moblins appeared. I'm gonna try to get these hearts. We are almost dead. This is not good. Oh no. Yeah, it's beeping. I got my hearts. Okay, we got a little bit more. Oh jeez, there's moblins. Ah, <laughs> no, 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 no. I, I gotta be careful because they're gonna throw stuff at me. There's a heart that I left behind. I don't know if we can do this though. What's the transport, Captain? Sounds fancy. I'm gonna use my special on him. I just gotta not get hurt. There we go. Yeah, we need some hearts badly. <laughs> this is this is gonna be rough if I get killed. Cause this is insane. Yeah, one hit just knocks you all the way down. I've got one of these. I just gotta dodge his attacks. There we go. We got that one. We only need two more after this, I think, right? Yeah, we can maybe do this. I just, if I get into a group of them, I can't dodge all their attacks, so I gotta be extra careful. Let's do a big old pillar here. There we go. The silver gauntlets, they are from Ocarina of Time, so it's nice to see that they, uh, they have that little ability where they pick up that pillar. That's what they were used for in Ocarina, the silver and gold gauntlets. I think there's another upgrade for this called the gold, and then the final one is actually called the power gloves, and it's based off of the Power Glove, the Nintendo Power Glove, and uh, it has a very special ball and chain, but hopefully we'll get that eventually. It's another thing that we have to unlock in Adventure Mode. Okay, I'm gonna be extra careful and try to lure this one over here. Here's one. Okay, let me try to grab him. Get him, get him, get him! Two enemies remain! Did I hit both of them? Did I get him? Did I get him? Oh, we have to- oh, one more remains. Oh my gosh, this is so tense. If he hits me, I'm dead. I gotta be extra careful. I defeated the Moblins, but I didn't get the last one. I'm trying to- oh my gosh! I don't want to get hit by the little ones either. Or did we do it? Did we beat it? Oh no, there's one more. Let me see if I can get this guy. I gotta be extra, extra careful. Don't let him hit me, no! Oh jeez, he swung his thing. I got him, all right. That was tense, man. They should make enemies do that much damage in the normal game. You'd be on edge all the time. Well, that went well, yeah. Great job, Link. Okay, thank you, Proxy. Look how oversized these gauntlets are, it's crazy. They're much bigger. In Ocarina of Time, they, they didn't look that much bigger than your normal gloves, but they're still kind of cool. 
looking and, and silver like this. They're just like oversized. Everything in this game is kind of like over embellished and there we go. Victory screen with my new weapon. Oh, I have a couple other combos I'll show you here. He looks like he's so happy to just be throwing it around. Crazy. <laughs> he's like, get that out of here. Oops. Oh, <laughs> he doesn't know his own strength. <laughs> he's like, uh, sorry, I just damaged the landscape. I'll show you some of his other combos uh, next time we get to use him. We got B for damage because we did take a little bit of damage. But I think, is that enough? We got the item card. That's what we, uh, we don't necessarily need that. But the compass is good because it shows you where on the map you need to actually use your items. Okay, so now we can go over and get this croissant here. Ooh, we have to beat the island beast. It's a Dodongo. And uh, hopefully we can take it down. If I can use Link again, I will. There we go. Let's do the gauntlets again so I can try to show you some of the other combos. Hopefully I won't die as easily in this one so I can, you know, play around a little bit more and show you guys what he can do with this big old ball and chain. Other right, that last one I was like a little worried about doing any combos because I didn't want to get stuck somewhere and have a moblin throw his spear at me and then be in trouble. Oh, the loading screen, I guess the Octorok comes to try to like take the, uh, <laughs> he hits him and then the he loses the Triforce and runs away. Link, you coward. He just beat one Octorok and that's all he thought he had to do. If everyone joins their efforts, the fight is ours. Forward towards victory. So where, I'm over here. I'm not sure what my mission is. Defend the allied keep, beat enemy forces. Okay, so we're looking for somebody, a bomb chew. Oh, we gotta get to that bomb chew. It's probably gonna be a tough mission if I gotta worry about bomb chews. Okay, go, 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 grab my bow. And I go. Okay, he's going around this way, it looks like. Where is the entrance? Oh, it, there it is. Okay, I'm gonna lock onto the bop chew. Try to get rid of it. I've got my, uh, oh, there's, there's a gold cuckoo we have to defeat before it grows too strong. I have that awesome bow and arrow powered up. There we go. That's doing quite a bit of damage on that. Let's try to get to it, though. I'm gonna use, there we go. So this is another one of his combos. The gauntlets have an electric uh, element to them, so he does like a cool electric punch there. Oh man, I probably should have used a stronger weapon, because like I said, we just got the gauntlets not that long ago, last time we played Adventure Mode, and I only have the weaker version of it. Link is still pretty strong, so hopefully I can do this and not have this bomb chew get close enough. It is right on top of the keep. Oh jeez, oh no, oh no, prepare for self-destruct. I think we got it in time. Okay, there we go. All right, just gotta look out for the other bomb chews if they pop up. We gotta get some of these other keeps. Oh jeez, there's another bomb chew. It's coming from way down there. Okay, we're on the run, we're on the run. We're going, we're going down and over here. This map is pretty big. This is the Elden Caves and uh, I gotta find it. Okay, unit moving. There's a couple units moving around. Zelda, what are you doing? She's just hanging out in the base. I got bomb chews to kill and she's doing her. Just, I'm ruling from my keep. I don't have to worry about anything because I'm a princess. There we go. Okay, lock onto that. I'm gonna try to use my special on it. Let's see if I can do it. He basically picks up the world and spins it around because he's so strong. It's crazy. Here we go, and try to hit it. Oh, nope, I don't want to actually do that necessarily because I get stuck in the ground. All right, here we go. It's getting close. I really got to beat it up. It's only got half of its health down. I'm just going to do normal combos on it because if we get too far away from it, then I can't hurt it. Oh, no, I'm worried. I really should have taken my sword into this mission because it's going to make it even tougher. Guys, I hope you're rooting for me. Uh <laughs> This is so tense, because the bomb shoes, they're just so close. I'm going to try to get a power-up, if there are any in here. Please, please, there we go. Power-up. I want the uh, the one thing that gives me the special. Who is this? Oh, it's the gold cargo. Ah, before he gets too strong, defeat him. I hope I can get this guy. Right now, there's no bomb shoes yet, so we got to be careful. These The, the cargo do, or Kuko, do a lot of damage. I think it's Kuko. He's still undecided. If an enemy base appears to be locked, it means the boss has shut it tight. Oh, we have to find bomb keys in this? Okay. Once I acquire it, I can do that. I didn't know bomb keeps were actually like a thing. There's a big Poe advancing. I don't know if I can worry about the cuckoo here. I need to go get that big Poe. Where is it? It says it's down here somewhere. Oh man, they're everywhere. Okay, where is, I guess I should try to defeat this while I'm near it, if anything's not threatening the base too directly. Let's get this out of here before it grows too strong, as it was saying. Okay, oh, there's something over there. The Lillian Fulce is advancing. Come here, guy. I feel so bad beating up a, a little chicken, especially a resplendent golden one, but these guys are so tough. I just gotta get rid of him before he uh, does anything too crazy. Come here. There's, there's such a mixing of soldiers and skeletons, and a lot of them just seem like they're just kind of watching me fight this this chicken, so it's fu funny. Dude, I knocked him way over. Hey, he's running away. <laughs> I thought he was trying to get out of here. I think I can pick him up. There we go, and throw him around. <laughs> the gauntlets are so strong that you can pick up different enemies. I, I wonder if I could pick up a Dodongo. That would be crazy. I probably can't pick up a boss, right? This game isn't that crazy. 
Oh, so I need to try to do the one combo. Let me see if I can get it. It's like 1B and 3Y. Come here, buddy. So I do 1B and 3Y. So he grabs in the ground, picks up a stone, he digs underground, and then jumps back out and does like an uppercut. It's crazy. So it seems like his uh, his little, oh no, it's fallen to enemy forces. His little uh, silver gauntlets, jeez, are uh, basically like the digging mitts from Skyward Sword as well. He's trying to get out of here. There's an elemental fairy. He'll probably try to get that as well. I'm trying to get this cuckoo down before I have to worry too much about it. Get out of here. Oh no, the tunnel's about to fall. I gotta watch these bases. I'm not doing stuff fast enough. Okay, we got it. Here we go. Grab its egg or whatever and get out of here. I'm gonna try to go... Oh, I can't go back up that way. I have to go around. Let me see if I can get this elemental fairy as well while we're here since we got a base and the fairy will help us. Oh no. They're getting close to the main base. I feel like I'm gonna fail here if I don't protect Zelda. Okay, use this and just hopefully clear out this area if I can. How about one of these? Please, I think I only hit one guy. <laughs> so hopefully it'll hit some more. Sometimes it looks like it only targets one person. Okay, everybody's in danger. I don't know if I can get this elemental fairy. I'm just trying my best here, guys. The bomb, the boss is down in the lower left. And uh, it's the, man, the key boss didn't, oh, the captain defeated a big foe. Hope that's a good sign and that it'll be a little easier here. A couple more guys will get the key boss. I'm trying my best. There it is, okay. Kill him, kill him quick. I know he's already dead because he's a Stalfos, but if we beat him, maybe we'll get that elemental fairy. There we go, we captured a square. Let me grab that fairy real quick. Don't really need to worry about the material so much. Okay, we got the fairy, and then I think we can use it when we're in one of the rooms that causes, oh no, oh no, our morale is down. I have to go up this way. Okay. Jeez, uh, recaptured. Okay, somebody, oh, we have to do that. Okay, we're gonna go after the tunnel. They got crazy morale. I'm sorry, I gotta leave you guys. Uh, they're advancing, oh jeez. Okay, we need to uh, maybe stop these guys because otherwise they are gonna get into that keep and destroy them. Oh my gosh, look, they're all in our main keep and if this falls, we are probably done for. Okay, let me get this big Poe. That was a lot of KOs. Come here, big Poe. They got crazy morale boost, which means they're gonna do more damage and they're glowing red, as you can see. Come here, buddy, I wanna get ya. I'm trying to grab a ghost not going to be so successful most of the time. Look out. A couple more hits. I hate how he teleports around. He's tough to get. A couple more good hits, and the big Poe should be dead. There we go. Okay. Hopefully that thwarted their attack a little bit. Oh my gosh. Zelda, I'm sorry. <laughs> there's so much going on in here. I need to get that one tunnel keep, but there's so much in here that's just madness. There's so many skeletons. This is actually like more intense than the normal story mission battles. Look at all these guys here try to get as many as we can. Once this is cleared out a little bit, I need to go capture some of those other keeps, otherwise we're in trouble, because uh, the more fall, the more we're in trouble. But yeah, I think if this one falls with Zelda, we are just done, so this is the most important part. Grab those. Okay. Uh, just look at all these guys. They are just everywhere. And it's, uh, it's flashing red, like I'm slowly uh, losing in here, so I better hurry up. Let me see if I can get my bombs. There we go. We got big bombs. I like big bombs, and I cannot lie. Okay, grab these power-ups. There's power-ups everywhere from killing so many things. It really feels like we're going to lose this keep if I leave, because there's so many guys everywhere. I need to go try to get one of the other ones, but hopefully these bombs will clear out some guys and make it a little easier in here for the allies. Okay, let's go out into this, this hallway here, because I think this is where a lot of the enemies are coming from, it says. There's an outpost captain. Let's grab that. I feel like if I leave, it'll fall. I'm sorry, guys. I tried my best there. Let's see if I can take this guy and recapture the one keep. Maybe that'll help our morale a little bit. Yeah, this is more Impa's in trouble. Uh, Impa, I'm coming, I'm coming. Uh, there's a, uh, <laughs> uh, can't lose here, not like this. Oh, geez, I gotta activate my magic. So there's another keep up there I should be capturing as well, it looks like. How about one of these? Hopefully this will clear out some of the enemies. I didn't get that many. There we go. Save an Impa. Impa. Jeez, everybody is having trouble. I can't help you all at once. This might be something that would be good to play in multiplayer as well, because I'm having a hard time keeping track of all this stuff. I think Impa's doing a little better now. I helped her out. There's just so much stuff everywhere. How about a big old spin of the world? Reminds me of, like, Seismic Toss from uh, Pokemon. Gold Sculptula. There is no time for Gold Sculptulas. I'm sorry. Impa, I'm gonna have to leave you, girl. I gotta deal with some stuff up in Northtown. I should probably get the tunnel keep. Impressive. Hyrule is fortunate to have you. 
There's a uh, outpost captain. Might as well grab these while I can. Don't blush, Link, but I think he just got compliment. <laughs> yep. Man, all the ladies love Link, it seems like. Okay, that guy's down. I'm not worrying about his material. I'm going after whatever's up here. Let's see what we got. Oh, I got this crazy fire going on. Oops, I didn't mean to zoom in on the map. Let's use my fairy. And there we go. We cleared that, and then we gotta get this keep. The barrier is down. We're not gonna take damage now. I gotta be careful not to accidentally use that potion. I switched to it on accident. Okay, doing good, making rupees, making money. <laughs> I think we, we're getting a little, we're doing okay. I need to go get those other keeps, but it seems like my allies are fending for themselves a little bit better than they normally are, because they helped them out enough. The morale is not boosted anymore, it looks like. I defeated enough of them. We gotta clear these guys, and hopefully, once I get a couple keeps, I can go after that boss. We have to find the key, apparently, so grabbing those outposts as I go, that seems like a good idea, because otherwise we don't get as much of the morale. Oop, we got a chest. Let's see what's in it. Hello, can I open it? There we go. So certain chests, I mentioned this before, but certain chests only certain characters can open. Hopefully this is something good, maybe a heart piece or a... Oh, we got the boss key! Awesome! That is what I wanted. We are supposed to get the one keep in the tunnel, but I wonder if I could just go straight for the boss. Uh, maybe let's divert. Look at that one keep right near the center. It looks like it's uh, a little bit in trouble. We got a couple keeps going for ourselves. I just worry if I go fight the boss right now, my allies might fall and not be able to hold things up themselves. So here we go, Impa's headed this way. Might as well help her out a little bit. Hello, there's so many of these guys. I'm gonna get this one and the one below it and then we will head to the boss. And hopefully that'll be enough. Heat boss is already here, that was quick. Killed enough of those guys. And here we go, this one was a lot faster than I was expecting. There we are, all right. So that's down, head to the other one. Oh, oh no, what just happened? I heard something bad, something bad, that sound. Ooh, there was like a dragon jumping out of the water. Oh, the gold sculpture is fled. Who cares? I'm not worrying about that right now. I'll, uh, so the reward for the gold sculpture, you can get upgraded potions like you saw the purple potion I have. That's only because we got a gold sculpture piece. We have to try to get those to get upgrades to our potions. But ultimately, I think if you get all of the sculptures, there is a little bonus. I don't want to go that way. There's a little bonus that uh, you get. We get some extra bonus missions and you can unlock I think the blue and red tunic for Link, and I'm like, eh, I don't know, it's it's nice. Compared to some of the alternate costumes, like Dark Link and stuff, I'm not as interested in the different tunic colors that you usually see in most Zelda games anyways, so I don't know, I, I might not try to get all the gold, gold sculptures. I know people who have tried to get everything in this game, it's taken them forever because there's so much to do. You notice, like, Adventure Mode, we're spending a lot of time on this. And uh, it takes a, a, several missions to get to what you want to unlock. We've gotten some good stuff already. I've got a new weapon for a couple characters. Like, we wouldn't have this if I hadn't been doing adventure mode. But I think, ultimately, the story mode's a bit quicker. And we get to see, you know, some cutscenes and stuff. Okay, so everyone, we're doing good. I think I've got enough. We can unlock this. And is the boss a Poe? I thought it said there was a Dodongo here. On the map, it showed a Dodongo. So maybe this is the bait? The boss? I don't know. Here we go. Spin you around, little ghost. Ghosts, I don't know, you'd think they wouldn't get sick feeling from being spun. It's a big Poe. It doesn't look too different. In Ocarina, the big Poes were uh, ones you had to hunt down to get the big Poe souls, and I think that was how you got one of the bottles? Yeah, I'm trying to remember back. I've been thinking, I have Ocarina of Time 3D, and I haven't played it yet. I was thinking that might be a good thing to play for the channel if you guys want to see more Zelda, like traditional Zelda. It's been so long since I played that, but that game is so ingrained in my mind. It's uh, one of those ones that would be kind of relaxing to play because it's just kind of like a nice one that I don't think I would have to uh, look, you know, I wouldn't really have to look anything up because I remember everything about it. So it's nice. A lot of times when I like playing games blind with you guys because it's uh, nice to experience it for the first time. Smack him with a rock. That's how you kill the ghost. Uh, it's nice to experience things for the first time with you guys, but at the same time, if I play a game like, say, Wind Waker, when we played that, it was really nice to have a knowledge of how to get through the game, because then it was a little more relaxing. There we go, Fire Breathing King of Dongo. This game I can kind of just, like, get in the zone, and, uh, auto zone. No, that's our sponsor this week. <laughs> no, I don't have any sponsors. I can get in the zone and just kind of bash stuff with my ball and chain or sword or whatever you you got, and uh, I can still talk and not have to <laughs> worry too much. This, it can get a little overwhelming with so much stuff. Link, you took the keep! 
I've been neglecting reading the little things down there, so I apologize for that. But yeah, this is a nice game that you don't have to completely be paying attention to what you're doing, and you can still be doing stuff. Jeez, King Dodongo, leaping around. Okay, I don't know if I can pick him up, but it would be funny if we could. Oh, jeez. Man, that was a crazy shockwave. I'm going to try to get this outpost captain. Oh, no. we got to get closer to do that. Uh, I didn't. Oh, okay. I got it in time, I think. Here we go. I was a little worried if I was going to get it. And uh, here we go. Combo him. I love when you do it on the big enemies and they glow. I'm spinning a Dodongo around. It's crazy. Okay, break his thing, hopefully. I don't know if we're going to get it with, uh, with this. One, two, three, and then do... The pull out of the ground. Oh, wrong button. Two, three. Oh, it's gonna get up. Okay. I'm still pulling this out of the ground and smacking him with it. And slam. Oh, we both like landed pretty close together. He was like, I'll wait for you to slam that down and then I'll, I'll hit you with it. Oh, <laughs> jeez. I, I have fire protection, I believe. I got some of these. There we go. All right. This time I'm gonna try the crazy combo on him. One, two, three. And there we go. I was doing the wrong button there for a second. I'm trying to do my special attack. Blam! One more good hit, and we broke him. Okay, here we go. What is he doing? This, jeez, that was brutal. Even for a monster like King Dodongo, he just kind of smacked him. Oh, roll away. Okay, yeah. I was kind of learning that with that slam, you don't want to be anywhere near him. Okay, here he goes. Ugh. Sometimes he, he doesn't have to do the build-up for his flame breath. And here he goes. A little more bomb. You want some of those? There we go. He's so hungry. It's, it's one of those things where he loves eating bombs, but he feels guilty afterwards, and it hurts him. He gets, like, a stomachache. It's like eating spicy food for some people. You just don't want to... <laughs> I tried to pick him up, but you can't pick up the King Dodongo, I'm sure. Let me try it again when he's not... <laughs> I wanted to try it when he wasn't doing anything. There we go. You think if you can't pick him up when he's laying down, you can't pick him up anytime. So, we'll see about that. One, two, and then... Slam, here we go. This one's pretty good at breaking this thing, it seems like, because it hits so many times. It's just a little slower. A couple more good hits, and he's going to get... Yep, he got up. I think we'll have him with the next one, though. I want to kill this outpost captain. I'm locked on. There we go. You can switch targets, but I'm like, I might as well just take out the outpost captain while I'm over here. There we go, got him. And now we're going in for the final kill. This should be it for this mission. I think we have one more we're going to have to do before we can get to the stage where... Uh, we unlock. Like I said, adventure mode takes a lot of time, but you can get some good rewards. You got a weapon. You fought well. Victory is ours on this day. Okay. I was worried there. Hopefully you guys <laughs> weren't too worried either. You had faith in me because we pulled through. It almost looked like we were going to lose some people, but we got it. Ooh, materials. Stuff just sitting around. I was too busy trying to make sure everyone survived to grab all of that. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. We should now have, as long as I did okay, ranking wise we should have the power bracelet which means we can move rocks around and the secret character that you guys saw on the map is hiding under a rock apparently that's it it's an older character that hasn't been playable ever so maybe they were living under a rock nice all right okay we got our power bracelet Ooh, we got a better awesome now we get to use this uh, gauntlet without the silver gauntlets without feeling a little guilty because i have a more powerful version of it cool so we got the power bracelet. So next time we do this, next time we're actually going to go and do Death Mountain with Danielle. But after that, we'll go back to adventure mode. We'll beat this stage, and then we can go unlock the secret character. Thanks for watching, guys. Please leave a like if you enjoyed this. I'll see you next time for more Hyrule Warriors. Goodbye.